the fact that it can happen right here in Ada, Michigan, you know, where, where we thought we were a pretty normal family. Now that family is suing Grace Christian University. Their daughter Ellie was a student there, but in her senior year she got an internship and according to that lawsuit was convinced to cut off contact entirely with her family. They haven't seen Ellie since. Doug Reardon is on the story tonight for us and joins us now. Doug, those parents were accused of some pretty horrific things. Yeah, guys, things they say never happened and that lawsuit, which is over 50 pages long, also includes two individuals who, according to the court documents, convinced Ellie that her family, among other things, had sexually abused her as a child and then ran a child sex trafficking ring later. David and Laureen Roskamp deny that their daughter was ever assaulted and say that this is their last chance to get her back in their lives. And just to note, Ellie was a legal adult through all of this, but still claims to be an abused victim, so we have blurred her face throughout this story. Laureen Roskamp misses her music partner, her daughter, Ellie. I played piano and she used to sing. Music was always a family affair and the family was close knit, even after Ellie went off to college at Grace Christian University in Grand Rapids. Her father, David. But it was the, the, her junior year where it all turned quite quickly. That's when the Ross can say Ellie met James Cooley and his wife Morgan Wolfis at a speaking event on campus. Soon after, she moved in with the couple, acting, according to the lawsuit, as a nanny and live-in maid, caring for the couple's newborn daughter, often missing her classes. When the time came in 2019 for her senior internship, Ellie opted to intern with the couple from their home and began to block her friends on social media and isolate herself from her parents and her siblings Elizabeth and Charlie. That autumn... She then went on vacation with James and Morgan, a family vacation, she called it, and texted our whole family and said that she didn't want to have any more communication with us. When Thanksgiving came, then she, that was the last time that she was here. It'll be four years now. The Ross camps later learned that Ellie, apparently under the guidance of James and Morgan, had been fasting for weeks on end, was sleep deprived, and began having strange dreams. And Morgan and James interpreted them and told Ellie what all of that meant, detail by detail by detail. And it was all against Dave and Elizabeth and Charlie. The Ross camps in their lawsuit claim the couple was using a discredited therapy known as recovered memory theory, allegedly convincing Ellie that her dreams meant that David had sexually abused her as a young child and that her parents, her siblings, and her aunts and uncles, quote, all participated in rape, murder, human trafficking, and evil conduct. Four years after the last time the Ross camps saw their daughter, on Tuesday, they filed a lawsuit against Grace Christian University and against James and Morgan. This 32-year-old man took advantage of her, and the college, Grace Christian University, did nothing to prevent the harm that they did. They've ripped our family to bits, and how do you put that back together again? Laureen and David don't know how Grace Christian University vets their internships, and the connection James and Morgan have to the school is still unclear. They aren't listed among the staff or among the faculty. But after multiple attempts... Hello, welcome to Grace Christian University. We couldn't reach the school. In an online chat with me, James Cooley claimed the accusations were false, but wouldn't speak further and apologized for not being more helpful. That's her up there on the right. Yeah. That's her... That's high school graduation, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, the Ross camps are left with photos and memories of a daughter they may never see again. I wonder if she thinks about me. I wonder if she... I wonder if she's still... If there's Ellie, if, if she's still her deep down inside, you know? And so a couple more additional notes here. We also learned today that Ellie had tried to file a personal protective order against her father at one point, but it was rejected by a judge. I also did hear from attorneys at Varnum Law who represent GCU. They had no comment on that lawsuit today. Live in the studio, Doug Reardon, Fox 17 News.